Hi, Helen from crystalsandcrochet.com here and welcome to this video tutorial for this Afghan square which is called Angelique. This square was designed for the Friends Around the World 5 Crochet Along which is hosted by the Facebook group Cal crochet along. I hope you enjoy making this square. Okay, round one. I'm going to start with a magic ring. There's lots of different ways to do this. The way that I do it is to place the yarn over my finger, come around and cross over towards the back of your hand. And then you're going to place your hook under the first loop, over the second loop, pull through and then make a slip stitch and then you can take your finger out and there is your magic ring. Okay we're going to chain four which counts as a double crochet plus chain one. Okay and then we're going to double crochet chain one seven times into the ring. Okay, so just a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one. Okay, just work all the way around so that you're going to have a total of eight double crochet and eight chain one spaces. Once you come all the way round, you're going to join to the third chain, fasten off and secure your ends. Okay, so I've pulled up the magic ring. I use an invisible join. If you're not sure how to do that, please go either to my YouTube channel or to my website and under tutorials and basics you will find all things like the magic ring and the invisible join etc. Okay so that is round one complete. Round two we're going to be making popcorns. Just get a slip knot on my hook. Okay, so I'm going to make a beginning popcorn in any chain one space. So a popcorn is five double crochets. So into any chain one space, yarn over your hook and make a standing double crochet to start. Okay, two, three, four, and five. Just pull up very slightly, take your hook out into the first stitch under those top two loops back into that loop, pull down and then I just pinch and pull forward. So I push my finger through from the back, pull forward and just slip stitch through and then chain one to secure your popcorn. That chain one doesn't count anywhere in any stitch counts or instructions. Okay, so then our repeat is to chain three. Okay, and then popcorn in the next chain one space. Okay, so you've already made one popcorn. So your repeat, chain three, skip the next stitch, popcorn in the next chain one space. You're going to repeat seven times. Okay, into that first stitch, back into your loop, pull forward, slip stitch through, 
chain one to secure. Okay, so carry on and go all the way round so you've got a total of eight popcorns and eight chain three spaces. I'm going to catch up with you before I join to this just to make sure you're joining in the right place. Okay, so I've finished all of my repeats and I've now got a total of two, four, six, eight popcorns and eight chain three spaces. Okay, so just pull that tail end through. Obviously you can join with a slip stitch if you want to, but every stitch, the top loops of the stitch always come before the stitch. When you've started with a standing stitch, it's often quite difficult to see exactly where the top loops are here. Okay. So this is what I love about invisible joins because you always go into the next stitch. So the closing chain one, which is here, and come under that. Into that third chain and then down through the popcorn. and you've then created a new top loop for that last popcorn, okay? Even though the pattern says secure your ends, etc., I tend to leave mine a few rounds just so that if I've made any mistakes, it's easier to undo your work rather than once you've sewn your ends in, it's really difficult. Okay, so let's go straight on to round three. Another slip knot on my hook. And we're going to join with a standing single crochet in any chain three space. Okay, so just straight in, pull up your loop and make your single crochet. Okay, front post single, this is our repeat, front post single around the next stitch, okay, so around the popcorn front post single and then you're going to make three single crochet in the next chain three space. Okay, really simple. Front post around the popcorn, oops, and then three single crochet. Okay, repeat that eight times, and then you've already made that first single crochet there. So that last space, you only need to make two more. Okay, so omit that last single crochet. Again, join to that standing single crochet, fasten off and secure your ends. Round four, we are going to join with a standing single crochet in any front post single. Okay, so that's the one that we made around the popcorn. So standing single crochet. Chain three. and then we are going to treble three together over the next three stitches, okay? So yarn over twice into that next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. Okay, so that's a partial treble that we've made. Again, yarn over twice, into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, through two, yarn over, through two. And again, into the third stitch, through two, through two. Okay, so you've got four loops 
on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four loops. Okay, chain three and single crochet in the next stitch which will be the next front post single. Okay, so I'll show you again quickly. Chain three yeah. and then treble three together over the next three stitches. Into the first one, through two, through two, into the next one, through two, through two, into the next one, through two, through two, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops, chain three. Okay, so repeat that all the way round. So you're going to have, oops, laptop's just moved everything. Uh, you're going to have a total of eight single crochet, eight treble three together, and 16 chain three spaces. Okay, all the way round. Join to the first standing single crochet, fasten off and secure your ends. Round five. We're going to join with a standing single crochet in any treble three together. Okay, so that there is the top loop of our treble three together. So standing single crochet in there. Okay? Chain one and we're then going to make three double crochet into the next single. Okay? One, two, three, chain one, and single crochet in the next treble three together. Okay, so that's our repeat. Chain one, three double crochet into the single, chain one, single crochet into the top of the treble three together. Repeat that eight times. Omit the last single crochet that you've done there. Join to that single crochet, fasten off and secure your ends. Okay, don't worry if your work cups slightly at this point. It will all be sorted out in this next round. Okay, so round six, we're going to join with a standing double crochet in any single crochet. Okay, so into the single and make your standing double crochet and then double crochet in that same stitch okay then we'll start our repeat double crochet in the chain one space double crochet in the next three stitches one two and three, double crochet in the next chain one space, and then two double crochet in the next stitch, which is your single crochet. Okay, so that's our repeat, nice and simple. All double crochets, one in the chain one space, one in each of those three stitches, one in the next chain one space and two into the single crochet. Go ahead and do that eight times but you're going to omit those last two double crochet there. You will have a total of 56 double crochet. Okay, All the way round join to that standing double crochet 
fasten off and secure your ends. Double check your stitch count but this will be a good time to work away all of the ends that you've got so far. Okay, so as you can see, I've worked away all of my ends now. You'll notice that the center pops up. Okay, so when the piece sits down, the center sits proud from the rest of it. If it's still curling up a little bit, don't worry, we're about to fix that. Okay, so round seven, we're going to join with a standing single crochet in the second double crochet of any increase. Okay, so we made our increases into the single crochet. So we're going to go into the second stitch with a standing single crochet. Okay, two single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. And we're then going to front post treble three together over these three double crochet from round five. Okay, so around the post of the first one, through two, through two. Around the post of the second stitch, through two, through two. And then again, around the post of that third double crochet, through two, through two four loops on our hook, okay, exactly the same as we did the treble three together down here. This time we're just working it around the post. Yarn over, pull through all four loops. Skip the next stitch, okay, that's directly behind this front post treble three together we've just done. Okay, single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochet in the next stitch, and then one in each of those next two. Okay, so our repeat starts from here two single crochet, that's into the one made in the chain one space, one single crochet. Front post treble three together over these three from round five. Skip that next stitch. One single crochet in the next stitch, two in the next stitch, again the one that's made into the chain one space, and then single crochet in the next two. Okay, so that's our repeat from there to there. Go ahead and do that eight times. Omit the last single crochet, join to that standing single crochet and fasten off. Okay, you're going to have eight front post treble three togethers and a total of 64 single crochet. Okay? Okay, so as you can see, it's now laying nice and flat, but that center is raised up. So if you look to the back, you've got like a little hole in the back there where that sits up. Okay, let's zoom in a weeny bit. There we go. So now on to round eight, we're going to join with a standing double crochet in the single before any front post treble three together. Okay, so it's this one that's just hiding slightly behind here. 
So standing double crochet in there. Okay. Now our repeat is we are going to double crochet in the next stitch, which is our three together. And then we're also going to front post double around the same stitch. Okay, so it's one into the top loops and one around the front post. And then double crochet in the next eight. So just pull over slightly to make sure that you don't skip that first one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. So that brings us to that single crochet before our three together. So there's our repeat my hand there you can probably see a little bit better okay so into the three together we make a double crochet in the top and then a front post double around the same stitch and then double crochet in the next eight okay go ahead and do that eight times omit that last double crochet on your eighth repeat and join to the standing double crochet with a slip stitch. Okay, just a little handy hint when you're joining with a slip stitch. I'm working with a four millimeter hook. So if I take that out and use a two millimeter hook, so two sizes smaller, pull down that loop and already you can see that I've got a much, much smaller loop there. Make my slip stitch and pull through. Pop my hook back in. Now you can see, if I lift that right up, yeah, hopefully you can see there, my normal stitch, the slip stitch is less than half the size. So I'm never going to mistake that slip stitch for an actual stitch. And that's often, particularly when you're working on sort of large numbers, it's where people can get a little bit confused and end up with extra stitches that don't need to be there. So two sizes down to make your slip stitch and you won't have that issue. Okay, so let's move straight on to round nine. We're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet. Okay, now you can make a starting double crochet in there if you want to. And we're going to double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so that's our well, the stitch that we've slip stitch joined to, so that counts as our first double crochet. So we're going to double crochet in the next stitch, okay? And then our repeat is quite simple. We're going to do two double crochet in the next stitch. and then double crochet in the next four. Okay, so one, two, three, and four. Okay, so two in this stitch, one in each of the next four, two,
and then one in each of the next four. So you're going to do that 16 times and you will notice that we've got an increase in the front post double and then we've got an increase in the middle next one will come in the front post double in the middle and work all the way round okay so just a little way for you to keep track of where your increases are going and making sure you've got the right number of stitches okay so work all the way round you're going to omit those last two double crochet join to the top of the chain three fasten off and secure your ends round 10 we're going to join with a standing single crochet in the second double crochet made into any front post double. Okay, so here's a front post double and we've got two double crochets made in there. So that is the second one. So standing single crochet in there and we are then going to single crochet in the next two stitches okay so you've got three single crochets there okay and we're now starting to make our corners so oops, just go the other way, zoom out a little bit. Okay, so half double in the next three stitches. And then skip the next stitch and make three double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, one, two, three. Skip the next two stitches and then we're going to make three treble in the next stitch. Okay, three, skip the next stitch, three treble in the next stitch. Okay, so that second set of three treble will come into the second double crochet made into that front post one okay so where do we get to okay so we did three double crochet skip the next two and we've then got another little repeat of three treble in the next skip the next stitch twice so we need to skip this next stitch here and we also need to place a marker in the second treble of that second group of three treble. Okay, so skipping this next stitch is part of this repeat that we've done, so we're going to do three treble in the next stitch. <clears throat> okay, skip the next two stitches and then three double crochet in the next stitch. 
So we're basically mirroring what we have done on the other side. Skip the next stitch, half double crochet in the next three. Single crochet in the next five. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and you will notice that again you've come across your um, increase here. Okay. So we started off where we made those three single crochets, but our repeat starts from our half doubles. Okay, so we've got three half doubles, skip one, three double in that next stitch, skip two, three treble, skip one, three treble, skip one, three treble, skip two, three double, skip one three half double, five single. Okay, so that is the beginnings of one of our corners. Okay, so you need to go ahead and repeat that four times. So three more times and when you come all the way back round you're going to omit these last three single crochet so you'll only have two to make on that last repeat Join to the standing single crochet, fasten off and secure your ends. Round 11. We're going to join with a standing treble in any corner treble. So that's the one that we've put the marker in. Okay, so yarn over twice into our marked stitch and make a standing treble. We're going to make two more treble in that same stitch. And put the marker into the second one. So again that becomes our corner treble. Okay. So you've got standing treble and two more treble into that corner one, place the marker up into the second treble. Okay, and then working across the side, we are going to treble in the next stitch, double crochet in three, Two, three, half double crochet in three, so that's into the three double crochets. Okay, and we're then going to single crochet in eleven. One, two, Three, four, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, and then half double crochet in the next three. So again, that's the three double crochets that your half doubles are going to work into. And then double crochet in three. So that's your next three trebles. treble crochet in the next stitch, so that's the last stitch of the side, and then into our corner treble, we're going to make three trebles. Whoops. One. Two. 
and 3. Okay, and place your marker in the second treble. Okay, so that's your side, so it's quite easy to follow. After the corner, you've got treble, three double, three half double, eleven single, three half double, three double, one treble. Then your corner again. Okay, so go ahead and do that on the other three sides. Once you've come all the way round, join to your standing treble, fasten off and secure your end. Round 12. We're going to join with a standing single crochet in the last stitch of any side. So our stitch markers tell us a corner stitch, so the one before that is the last stitch. Okay, standing single crochet. And we're going to single crochet in the same stitch. Okay, so you've got two single crochet in there. We're now going to make a front post double treble three together over the three trebles from round ten. Okay, so for a double treble, yarn over one, two, three times. Okay, so exactly the same as we did down here, just slightly longer. So around the post of the first stitch, through two, through two, through two. Okay, so you go through two loops three times. We've got two loops left on our hook. One, two, three, around the next stitch, and through two, one, two, three times. And then last one, one, two, three, four loops on a hook, yarn over and pull through all four loops. Skip the next stitch, that's the one with the marker in, okay, and then make two single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so you can just leave the marker in there for now if you want to. Um, it just helps you to make sure that you've skipped that correct stitch there. Okay, so we've done two in that two single crochet in that next stitch. We're then going to single crochet in the next two. And we're going to make a front post treble three together. Okay, the corner one is double treble because it needs to be taller. This one is treble three together. Okay, so yarn over twice and make a partial front post treble around each of those three stitches. Okay. Skip the next stitch. Okay, so we're going to skip this stitch here and then we are going to single crochet in the next two and we're then going to make a front post double three together over these next three. Okay, so one Two and whoops, two and oh, get in there, that's it. Three, okay. Skip the next stitch 
and we are then going to single crochet in 13 2 11 three, 12 and 13 okay so that 13th single crochet will come into the half double made in that first double okay then again front post double three together two and three and through all of them skip the next stitch single crochet in the next two Um, and then we are front post treble three together one two and three skip the next stitch Okay, so we're skipping this one here and we are then going to single in two and then two single crochet in the last stitch. Okay, so that's our side. We've got a front post double treble three together in the corner. Skip the corner marked stitch. You've then got two single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next two, front post treble three together and skip the stitch behind, single crochet in two, front post double three together, skip the stitch behind that, single crochet in 13 and then you just reverse this. So front post double, single in two, front post treble three together, single in two, two single in that last stitch. Okay, so go ahead and do that on the other three sides. Once you've come all the way around to here, join to that standing single crochet, fasten off and secure your ends. Round 13. We're going to join with a standing double crochet in the last stitch of any side. So that's our corner double treble. So there is our last stitch. So standing double crochet and double crochet in the same stitch. Okay, so you've got two double crochet in that last stitch. Front post treble around the corner double treble together. Let's get that stitch marker out of the way. Sorry. Front post treble around the corner double treble okay so that's our new corner stitch and then two doubles in the next stitch now it's going to be partially hidden here so just pull that forward and make sure that you get right in to that first stitch and you're going to make two double crochet in there. Um, double crochet in the next three. One. Two and three. Front post double around the next stitch. So that is our treble three together. 
double crochet in the next two stitches. So again, just pull over so that you can see that stitch clearly. Front post double around the next stitch. And then double crochet in the next 13. And again, just pull over so that you can see that first stitch clearly and make sure that you get right in there. Okay, so 13 double crochet across us. Three, that's 12 and 13. Okay, and then front post double around the next stitch, double crochet in the next two, again just pull over to make sure that you get into that little hidden one, two, front post double around the next one, double crochet in three, one, two and three. That leaves us one stitch before the corner and we're going to make two double crochet in there. Okay, and then we're back to the beginning of the repeat. Okay, so that's your side. So it's front post treble around the corner, two double treble in the next stitch, then we've got, sorry, two double crochet in the next stitch, then we've got three, a front post, two, a front post, 13, front post two, front post three, and then two in that very last stitch. Okay, so go ahead and do that three more times and once you come all the way round to the beginning here, you are going to join with a slip stitch. Round 14. Okay. So, my personal preference is to not have um, a starting stitch or a chain in the middle of a row. So what we're going to do is slip stitch in the next stitch and into the corner front post treble like that. Okay? So that we begin the row in the corner and we don't end up with a skinny stitch part way through our row. Okay, we're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet. Let's get that stitch marker out of the way. And then make another double crochet. Chain two. And then two double crochet. Now, you've got couple more rows after this. So at this point, once you've finished this round, it's going to be worth measuring against the other um, squares that you're making because obviously because the squares are all made by different designers, we've all got a very slightly different tension. So do this round as stated and then if you need to make an adjustment in the height of your stitches either make them taller to make the square slightly larger or make them shorter to make the square slightly smaller then that's the way to do it but anyway so our corner is two double crochet chain two two double crochet and we are then going to double crochet in the next 31 stitches. Okay, so each corner, two double crochet, chain two, 
two double crochet and just double crochet in each stitch across which is a total of 31 so make sure when you're finished you have got 35 double crochet each side okay so nice simple round this one work your way all the round all the way around all four sides when you come right back to the beginning here join to the top of the chain three fasten off and secure your ends round 15 we're going to join with a standing back post double around the last stitch of any side there we go okay now as I said if you need to adjust the side from this point so from the base of round 14 out until the end now we're looking at around about an inch because this round's going to get folded down slightly and we've then got two more rounds so if you need to go larger you could make this a back post treble or keep it as the double if you need to I suppose the last round is probably the easiest to change because according to the pattern that's singles so you could go up to half doubles or even doubles however if your square is coming out too big then this is where you need to change and you may need to go down to back post singles and then another round of singles to get your stitch count correct so from the base of this line here from there until we're finished we're now going to have about an inch extra and that works out very much the same whether you're using an Aran or worsted weight with a 5mm hook or whether you're using a double knit with a 4mm hook as I am here. Okay so that's just a little hint that if you need to change the size at all. Okay so we've done we've joined with a standing back post double around the last stitch in the chain two corner space we are going to do two double crochet chain two two double crochet okay and we are then going to back post double crochet around the next 35 stitches okay so that is each stitch across so go ahead and repeat that on all four sides so each side you will have 35 back post double crochet and four double crochet Okay, so a total of 39 stitches on each side. Okay, so just all the way across again, another really simple round. And finally, round 16. Okay, we're going to chain one, single crochet in the same stitch and then single crochet in the next two stitches which will bring us up to our corner so in the chain two corner space we're going to single crochet chain two single crochet skip that first stitch and then single crochet in the next 38 stitches across okay so each corner 
is single crochet, chain 2, single crochet. You're going to skip the first stitch after the corner and then make 38 single crochet working across each side. Okay, so go all the way round and then when you get back to this first single crochet, I'll just pop a stitch marker in there so that I know that's my first stitch. Join there, oops, sorry, join there, fasten off, work away all of your ends, and then I always recommend blocking your work because you will find, let me zoom out, you will find that maybe your corners will flip up or it could be a little bit wobbly or whatever but once you've actually blocked it will all lay nice and flat and it will be much much easier when you come to join all of your squares together okay you don't need to stretch anything all you need to do is pin out so measure from corner to corner so if you're working with double knit you should be on around about 10 inches per square if you're working with um, Aran or worsted weight yarn and a 5 mil hook then you'll be on about 12 inches per square just pin the corners and if you're using an acrylic I always recommend heat so just use a blow dryer and just gently work your way out with a blow dryer and press it into shape leave it to cool and it's done and then you can stack your squares away in a corner until you come to join them okay I hope you found this video tutorial helpful and I look forward to helping you again